Okay, this video carries on from our scatterplot video and now we're looking to find the equation of the least squares regression line using Excel. Now you can easily find this using the equation of the line when you insert a scatterplot, but we're going to do the math behind it. So we can see our formula here, the slope of the regression line is the sum of the score minus the x mean and the y score minus the y mean all divided by the sum of the score minus the x mean squared or you can just do the correlation coefficient, the Pearson's correlation coefficient multiplied by the standard deviation of y divided by the standard deviation of x. Now I've already calculated the r value in a different video so you can watch that video to see how it's done similar with the mean of each of the values. So we're going to come up here and in this one we're going to find the x score minus the x mean. So we're going to go equals to the x score minus the x mean. Now I want every cell to minus that mean. So I'm going to press F4 so that I end up with the dollar sign B dollar sign 26 locking that in place. So pressing enter I get this value and then we're going to just scroll that one down to calculate it for everyone. And we're going to come over here and we're going to find the y minus the y mean as well. So equals the y minus the y mean. Again pressing F4 to lock that one in place, entering that and scrolling it down. Now the formula actually says that we want the sum of these two numbers multiplied together. So in this column we're going to multiply them together. So we have equals, this is our x1 and we're multiplying that by our y1, pressing enter and scrolling this one down. Now it is the sum of this, that's the epsilon there, so we're going to do equals sum, open some brackets and highlight what we want to add, close our brackets and enter. Now we also need this bit down the bottom here which is x minus the mean but this time squared. So this is x minus the mean here so we're going to square it here so we're going to go equals we're going to square this one and that's how you square just the hat and the two and we're going to drag that one down again the formula says it's a sum of so we're going to find the sum of all of these and press enter. Now coming over here I'm going to find my mean over here. I'm going to find it both ways using both formulas, this one and this one because I already have the y value, uh, the r value and I'm also going to find the y-intercept using this data. So the first one is actually the sum of the multiplied scores divided by the sum of the squared scores so we're going to equals, It's this is the sum of the multiplied scores scores and we're going to divide that by the sum of the squared scores and that's our m value there. The other way is the correlation coefficient multiplied by the standard deviation of y divided by standard deviation of x. So we're going to go equals, now this was our correlation coefficient which was found in another video. We're going to do that one, multiply by and we want the standard deviation of y divided by the standard deviation of x. Now these should be the same value because they're the same gradient and they are. Now the y-intercept formula is here, the a for the y-intercept it's the mean of y minus b, then b is our gradient so that's how we're saying it now not m and times our mean of our x. So again we're just going to put in equals and it is the mean of our y minus our gradient multiply by the mean of our x and we press enter and it gives us our y value. So we can write an equation to the line then as being y equals mx plus c or y equals uh, bx plus a and it's going to be this is our gradient and this is our intercept. Thanks for watching.